Did you know the earliest mention of gunpowder in China dates back to the Tang Dynasty, around the 9th century? It seems gunpowder was an accidental discovery by alchemists in China, who were actually trying to find the elixir of life. In Chinese, gunpowder is called huoyao, which interestingly translates to fire medicine. Apparently, saltpeter, a key component of gunpowder, was known in China since the mid-first century, mainly for medicinal uses. There's this neat trick the ancient Chinese used to identify saltpeter, they would burn it and look for a purple flame. The first detailed gunpowder recipe was actually documented in the 11th century in a Song Dynasty text called Wujing Zongyao. This ancient text described gunpowder mixtures that were more incendiary than explosive, as they contained only up to 50% saltpeter. By 1083, the Song Dynasty was producing a massive number of fire arrows. That's a lot of firepower. In the 12th century, bombs and fire lances became a thing, especially during the fierce Jin Song Wars. Did you hear about the Jin using iron-cased bombs in the early 13th century? That was some advanced weaponry for the time. They even made reusable fire lance barrels, first from paper and then metal. Talk about innovation. By 1257, there were fire lances that could actually shoot bullets. Imagine seeing that for the first time. In the late 13th century, these metal fire lances started to look a lot like protocannons. And by 1287, these evolved into what were essentially the first hand cannons. The evolution of weaponry is fascinating.